Hi everyone, quick video to show you guys how to wire up, rewire a vintage VW Beetle Doom Buggy build. This is my personal restoration project that I've been working on for a couple months now. It's already October, so it's getting cold. Leaves all over the place. So let me do this quick. Engine is already all set to go. I'll come back here in a minute. Using one of the universal harnesses out there right now for the VW build. Um, the diagram is so so understandable. So that made some modifications for my personal use but overall it's the same setup for all the setups fuse box has been upgraded to the blade fuses with 10 slots in case I want to add a couple other things later on so the main wires quick breakdown from the fuse box you got the thick 10 gauge here you got the 16 here and the 12 here the blue and white wires on the top, they're going to the headlights, high beam, low beam, left and right. That's going to be set up with the high beam foot switch that this will run to the power source. The white and blue is connected to the bottom right here and this will all work together once set up. Let's hope so. From over here we got the blue and the green that's going to the horn. Depending on what kind of horn you have, I have this one right now. The blue will be powered, the green will be the ground. Uh, I noticed the old VW harnesses use green for ground for a lot of the setups. I'll be using also black wires for my ground setups. We've got the speedometer here. To the speedometer, we've got the blue wire that goes to the back. This goes to the coil. Uh, show you if there's engine issues, I believe, or something like that. Then you have the green wire. This goes to the oil pressure switch that's connected to the engine block. The headlight switch, I don't have the actual Beetle one that has all the numbering like 85, I mean 56, 58 and so on. So I'm going to modify this to connect the rear and front headlights. They're not connected yet. Uh, the power from it is a 12 gauge wire and that runs right to the fuse box right here. And from the fuse box over here, we have the power wire that's running to master cylinder. This will connect right here. That's the master cylinder switch. So when you push the brake pedal, it activates it and turns on the tail lights and so on. Uh, the other one will run to the back and that is the other red wire that comes from the harness um, and it's connected to the main harness and will run to the back of the engine to the brake lights what else do we have here the flasher is powered but it's black wire that connects right here to one of the accessory connections then from the accessory connection I'm sorry this one's connected to the top then from the accessory connection we have the bottom wire right here that runs let me see right here one two sorry it's a mess guys but it all works all right to correct myself on the ignition switch, you have the accessory slot where the black wire runs to the top of the fuse box. From the bottom of the fuse box, this black wire runs to the flasher. And the flasher is connected to my aftermarket turn signal, which connects the brown and the yellow wires and so on for the front and back blinkers. Yellow yellow left rear turn signal connects to the orange one on this specific uh, s switch and the brown right, right is the rear back uh, turn signal and then we have the green from the aftermarket switch the green and the yellow go into the front and same idea yellow 
left, brown for right, but it from turn signals. Also, from the accessory fuse box set up here, we have the blue wire that runs. Old, but it works, so I'll set that up. Remove the ground, I have the old speed, connect both of them to a separate switch on the dashboard, which I'll do. I'm also gonna run some wires from the extra slots I have here for my fuel gauge. Video fuel gauge I already tested it with a 12 volt power source, really simple set up for the light on here which I'll connect to the speedometer and to ignition switch so everything lights up nicely power source for it right here which will run to the switch right here and then also got a nice vintage style clock that will be 12 volt battery powered to add a little touch to the buggy back to the ignition switch semi-thick 12R which is 12 gauge red um, cable runs to the 50 which will be the starter which is the middle switch right here starter the battery terminal right here runs the 10R 10 gauge thick wire to the fuse box and then it splits off and the other 10 watt are wired that runs to the back of the car will run to the battery and the thinner one runs to the starter just to confirm that's important that's where the power is coming from what else we have so let's go to the back now so as i said most of these wires are nicely already connected together Front will be a mess, but once it's in the dashboard, it will look a lot better. Before I get to the back, I got this cutoff switch that I'm going to install in between the red power cable for the battery, just to have an extra safety when I park the car somewhere in public. The ground is grounded right to the chassis, and I also ran extra ground wire to the front to this ground terminal right here which will be connected to my dash so I have quick access to the ground if uh, I have my wires on the fiberglass and no metal source close by this will be a nice grounding access point to the back so as mentioned before Got the brown wire, the yellow wire, the red for the brakes, and white to let connect the rear turn signals and brake lights. These are my backup lights, which I will wire up myself as there's no wires that comes with the harness. I'll run the wires straight to a switch and a power source by the fuse box, so I can just turn them on and off myself as I need them when I back up. License plate light will probably install. It will connect to the white wire and the harness, and then you'll have to ground it. And then got the brown and the white and the red for the right tail light. Back over here from the main wire harness, as mentioned before yellow, brown, white, red is for the tail light, green is for the fuel pressure switch, blue goes to the coil. This is the black wire that goes from the accessory connection on the ignition that also goes to the coil, that's its power. Then we got the thick red wire to the battery and this one to the starter. They all split off right here. As you can see, the green one is connected to the fuel switch. I mean fuel pressure switch. Not fuel, I'm sorry. Oil pressure switch. So if there's any issues, it will light up right on the speedometer. Then the black one runs to the coil, to the positive source, the bottom is the negative. And just to show you guys on this distributor, very simple, black and red. Red goes to the top, 
to the positive on the coil, so it goes to the bottom to the negative. Then we have this green wire coming out from not exactly sure what this is, but it's connected to the distributor and that also goes to the negative source on the coil. This is the black wire for the coil on the front. Over here we have a red wire which can be any color. This was added myself to give power to the fuel pump. Just right back here. And then it's grounded right to this shroud. The 12 gauge wire running from the harness goes, started covering this up already, goes right here to the starter. Top. Then we have the thicker 10 gauge also coming from the front, which goes to the this little box here as this is a 12 volt setup and buggies were usually 6 volt. And then we've got the power source for the battery which will obviously go here to round this setup. So just to show you guys how the generator is wired up over here. So back here is the this beautiful concation is the alternator. Red wire. You can use any colors. I just want what I had. Nice 12 gauge red wire that goes to the D plus connection, and the white one goes to the DF connection, and that connects right here. You'll have to look at the markings on your alternator to connect it correctly. Then to the other side, we have the blue wire that runs back to the front, and that's connected to the 61 connection. And then we have the B plus. The B plus connects the thick red wire. This is the 10 gauge that goes to the ignition, and then the same. 10 gauge splits off from the B plus and goes right to the battery and start a connection power source. Really important. These two cables are connected correctly. 10R goes to B plus. The 12R goes directly to the starter connection on the ignition switch. And I believe that is about it. I hope this is helpful. Once the buggy is all put back together, I'll make another video to show you guys how it all functions. And we'll probably add some bug lights and other fun accessories. Make this thing look like a beast. Hopefully we'll get the wipers working. That will be it. Thank you for your time. More videos to come.